Dear Regina Sailing family and friends, let me do some more examples, some more exercises by means of the pencil, the eraser, the sharpener and our beloved nautical almanac, which is so sexy to read, all these wonderful numbers. It's only passed by one other great book and that's the sight reduction table. Remember this piece of paper? We have seen what altitude we actually shot the sun. And I only give the, gave one example for this because we're going to do it all over again, these. Then we checked out when is it meridian passage at ship's noon. So at 10, 19, that's when we have noon. So we can go up on deck at, uh, well, maybe a couple of minutes after 10 o'clock UTC and wait for the sun to get to the zenith. So this information we got out of the blue book here. The second thing is to get the declination and that we've also get from the book there. Why do we need the declination? Because down here I have the little drawing which is always good as a memory and you can redraw it depending on if the sun has a southern declination, you are in the southern hemisphere or whatever. So all you do is you want to get your latitude, which is the angle between the equator and your latitude. And this is the typical picture for when I'm sailing, that's northern hemisphere and in summer, meaning that the sun has a positive, a northerly declination. So then I know that the angle between my equator and my latitude is added uh, so what you do is you add the zenith distance and the declination. So the zenith distance is 90 minus HO. And HO is what I have measured here. And then I add the declination. So all we need to do is to look up the declination. For the sake, it is the 16th of May. Actually, I've written date here, so I can write 16th of May here. And then you can write the log and the course and speed over ground. That's because we want to do the, um, the transferred position line later. So we can disregard from that right now. Let's look here on the 16th of May. 16th of May. Here. 16th of May. So we want to know the declination. Well, at what... Here, this is 16th of May. We have the sun. And then the question is, at what time? Well, the declination we want to know at 10:19, so that's why it made some uh, was a bit useful to know when there is ship's noon. So let's look a bit more into detail here. 10:19. Uh, so here we have at 10 o'clock we have 19 degrees and 15.1 minutes. And at 11 UTC, we have a declination of 19 north, 15.6. So here, because the declination changes so much between 15.1 minute and 15.6 minutes, you don't have to do it more precisely than by eyeball, because all we want to get in the end is by one minute uh, precisely. So one minute is our accuracy. We can't measure big, uh, better and more precisely with a sextant anyway. So between 15, so 20 past 10, that would be a little bit into here. So let's call it 15.2 or just 15, I don't know. Let's say 15.3, 15.3, right here, north 19 degrees, 15.3. So that's the northern declination. So all we have to do now is to take, to get the zenith distance, so if we take 90 minus HO, 90 I have written as 89 degrees and 60 minutes, because that's easier to calculate when you deduct. So you deduct the HO, here I have made an arrow, so the HO comes from over here. So that is 36 degrees, and which figure shall we take? We'll take the precise one here. Or actually let's call it 31 minute here. We can't do it more precisely than a minute anyway. So we deduct that, 
so from uh, 1 to 0, that is 9. From 4 to 6, that is 2. And here from 6 to 9 is 3. And then we have 53. So we have 50, is that correct? Yes. So we have 53 degrees 29 minutes. That's the scenic distance. Now we have to add the declination. Declination comes from here. 19 degrees, ah, I call it 15 minutes, never mind these 0.3. So we add these two. We have to add the declination. Ah, there's a little mark there, eight. It says summer plus winter minus. Ah, I'll come to that in a second, what that means. So uh, we have to add these here in summer. So uh, nine plus five is 14 and that's four. And this makes nine plus three is 12, five, six, seven. 72 degrees and 44 minutes. So that's our latitude. What did we think it was? Well, we thought it was 7302. Now back to this number eight here, summer plus winter minus. So what does that mean? Well, what is winter? Well, winter is that the sun is not up there at all. So we can disregard from that. So we can draw another line here and put the sun there. So the zenith distance in winter would be all the way from us to the sun. And in order to get our, uh, our latitude, which is from the equator to our position, we have to deduct this angle. So we first measure all the way the zenith distance and then we go back with the declination of the sun. And this is the southerly declination of the sun. And that is why it says minus in winter. So in winter we have to deduct the declination and in summer we have to add the declination. Don't memorize this. Because first of all, you will be sailing in summer and then you will continue sailing in summer until you either lay up the boat somewhere in a marina or ashore or you will continue sailing and then soon enough on the 27th of September you will figure out, ah, something is happening. So then you can go back to the books and study. And was there any difference now when it's winter? Yes, it is, because you have to deduct it. And then we have the very big exception that if you are on a northerly latitude and the sun has is very high up and with a large declination, that means that you are in the tropics and it's summer. So we have tropic summer. So you are south of the sun, so the sun stands in the north. But if you do this little drawing, it makes all so much sense. So you always have to remember what you want to get is the angle between the equator and yourself, wherever you are on the earth. And then you have to take the declination into consideration wherever that is. Yes, so that's it for, for now. And see you in the next exercise. <laughs>